right, it's time for Foodie Friday. And this morning we are taking you back to the Oregon coast for another look at a delicious home cooked recipe. This week in the Roby's Live Kitchen, I went to Tillamook and helped put together a takeout classic in the Portland area. We know it, we love it. Chicken Pad Thai. You want to mm. try it yourself? Let's get into it. Hey, and welcome back for another Foodie Friday in the Roby's Live Test Kitchen. I am here with Chef Jim Fletcher from the Blue Heron French Cheese Company. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So we're making a dish today that I have only ever ordered as takeout. I've never made this myself. Chicken Pad Thai. I'm yes. excited. Good. It's something you can do at home too? Yes. Okay. Just steps. Just steps. Yeah. No longer only takeout. We're going to show you those steps. Where do we start? We'll heat up the pan. And then there's going to be chicken. we got to get it hot first. Now it's time to walk and roll. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. I had to. <laughs> so did you use chicken breast for this? Could you use chicken thighs? You can use whatever you like. You could use shrimp, beef, tofu. Um, I've actually made it with uh, steak chicken before. Nice. OK, so adding to our chicken some cut up Red bell peppers? Yeah. So this is the kind of dish that it seems like you really want all your prep work done before anything ever goes in the pan. Yes, because it's going to go fast. OK. You're going to just kind of add stuff because it goes. Got to keep up. Yep. You're going to add. Do you want me to add? All right. OK. Go ahead and add. Right in the center there. In for the peppers? Yep. So you added in peppers when the chicken was not quite done cooking because it's going to keep cooking this it's, whole time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this is just a one a one dish recipe. Yeah. So if you're if you're saying, well, no, I have to get pad thai takeout because I don't want to dirty up my whole kitchen, You'll you won't. Do, yeah. As long as you have a big enough pan to fit it all. Next up on the list. Next step is going to be the eggs. Okay. Just a little scrambled is all. Okay, so we've got our rice noodles ready on deck once the, uh, the eggs have cooked a little bit. What's the secret to getting your rice noodles right? Soak them in cold water. Soak them in cold water. For at least a couple hours, better overnight in your refrigerator. Okay, so you're not actually boiling them like you would a box of spaghetti? No. Okay. Well, I can do it with my hands, right? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> And then the only thing is if this gets a little bit dry uh -huh. is that the water from your noodles, you could add a little spoonful too. So if we're talking pad thai, you got to get the sauce right. So you've already mixed a few things together. What's in this sauce? This is fish sauce, red pepper, lime juice, sugar, and soy sauce. Okay. It is going to be a punch of flavor in this dish. Let's drop it in. Okay. Um, maybe half of it. Half of it? Yeah. Is that okay? All Ish. right. Ish. Here we go. Yeah. And finally, the sprouts. Just some nice, fresh bean sprouts. I love when these aren't cooked all the way through and you just get that little, little snap. Well, it's definitely to add the crunch Perfect to it. Perfect yeah. crunch, yeah. And Pad Thai's got a whole lot going on. Sweet, it is. Salty, spicy. Sweet and salty, nutty, spicy, a little bit of fresh crunch, mm -hmm. really good hearty chicken and, and noodles. What more could you want? Sprouts? I go kind of crazy on sprouts. I was going to say, I like sprouts too. Why not? We'll add a little more. Yeah. Yeah. A little more. You want. A little more. There you go. Okay, Chef Jim, I've always wanted to learn this. Yes. Can you show me the secret to, to really flipping it in the pan? How, how do I how do I get the how do I get the action going? Practice. Practice? You want to try it? Okay. Spin it around. It's in the wrist. All in the wrist. Can... I'll give it a go. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this thing's heavy. <laughs> this is a heavy walk. <laughs> Spin it. There we go. That's going. I tossed a chicken. Yep. It counts. It counts. <laughs> That's perfect. Nice. I have, I think I have a lot of practicing to do. Are you not ready for your new job? No, not, okay. not yet. Okay. Yeah, and this is cilantro and green onions. Cut a little bigger. 
And like a handful of peanuts. And like a handful of peanuts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Cool. Should we plate this up or should we leave it in the wok? I was going to say, this looks great in the wok okay. here. And then little peanuts for the garnish. Certainly. And then... If you're like me, you ask for more peanuts extra just for your dish, mm -hmm. and then you just keep adding them. So, Absolutely. you know, whatever you want. It's your kitchen. All right, it is time to taste our creation. I know my favorite little garnish here. The lime. We'll squeeze a lime right on top. Chef Jim Fletcher from Blue Heron French Cheese Company. This looks fantastic. Some pad thai you can make at home. Let's give this a go. Mm. So good, so fresh. You need the bite of those rice noodles, some crunchy peanuts, fresh herbs, hearty chicken, real savory sauce. Excellent work, Chef. Thank you. If you want to make this at home, try some pad thai for yourself tonight. We'll put the recipe on coin.com. For now, we'll see you back here for another Foodie Friday in the Roby's Live Kitchen. Have a great weekend. That looked really good. That was really good. Mm -hmm. I was going to bring some back, um, but no, it didn't make wasn't. it home from the yeah. coast because I ate it all. You were never planning on bringing it back. No, I love like, the crunchy part of that. I'm with you. Extra peanuts. I was like, more sprouts and more peanuts <laughs> and a little more. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's that's the nice thing when you make it yourself. Mm -hmm. You can have whatever ratio you Customize want. Customize it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. So try it out for yourself. Uh, if, you, if you do want to give it a try, we've got that full recipe from Chef Jim on coin.com. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trending right now. Uh,